Hello, today we are going to show you a prawn pickle or it can be called as achar, prawn achar. So we collecting some shrimps, you can use a big prawns as well. Mustard oil, distilled vinegar, chili powder. We need a two variety of chili powder if you want it a bit more spicy. Then asafoetida powder, fennel powder, coriander turmeric and some fenugreek seeds and we need chopped ginger and garlic one is to one ratio let's say one tablespoon of ginger one tablespoon of chopped garlic then two of the chilies slit into two long pieces uh, then we need a curry leaf let's say two sprig then some julienne lengthwise cut garlic some lengthwise cut julienne of uh, ginger why we're using two cut, one for the flavor and one for the mouthfeel when you eat it. Here we have around 200 grams of shrimps. So the first stage we need to fry the prawns because we need to make sure we take out all the water that content in the pickle. Otherwise it doesn't give you shelf life. So first of all we need to fry. You can consider the same process for if you're making a Fish pickle, let's say tuna is the best. Any firm flesh fish you can use. Beef also you can try the same way. So a quarter teaspoon of turmeric, quarter teaspoon of fennel powder, a quarter teaspoon of coriander, half teaspoon of chili powder, and with a bit of salt, preferably sea salt. Mix everything together. And then we're going to fry it using mustard oil, hot mustard oil. And then in the same pan we can do the pickle. So you don't have to do it in two pans or you don't want to take out the flavor what you fried. You can use the same oil as well. So in a hot pan, add mustard oil. Let's say enough of mustard oil to fry the prawns. And you can still utilize this oil for your pickle. And the mustard oil has high um, boiling point so you need to heat it till it gets a smoky condition so the the pungent flavor of the mustard oil can be removed and then you can fry it so once it starts smoking we can add the prawns reduce the flame and then put all the prawns Bring back the flame to high heat. Just cook enough to give a crispy outside but add soft so that all the water content in the prawn will be removed. So let's say after three minutes we'll reduce the flame then take out the prawn to clean it. So once the prawn is taken out, bring back the oil to medium to high heat, add mustard seeds, then the fenugreek seeds, or let's say quarter of a teaspoon, and then fenugreek seeds, sorry, asafoetida powder. Half a teaspoon of sweet. After one minute, add the chopped garlic. Then chill enough ginger. Chill enough garlic as well. All together. Saute it for two three minutes till it gets golden brown color. Start getting light golden color. Reduce the flame, it's getting crispy. Add the chili, the green chili, and the curry. And now, if you want, you can turn off the fire. We can switch it on back, otherwise, the spices will burn. So, I'm adding a quarter teaspoon of turmeric, 
फेनल पाउडर वन टी स्पून खुरेंडा वन टी स्पून नॉर्मल रेड चिली हम एडिंग टू टी स्पून देन कश्मीरी रेड चिली फॉर द कलर हम एडिंग वन फुल टी स्पून दैट इज फुल इट्स ऑलमोस्ट टू टी स्पून Slightly mix it up. You can bring back the flame on to a low heat. So they in low flame for a minute, and then add salt. And now we will add the distilled vinegar. Let's around 50 ml. Allow it to boil. And now you can taste the seasoning and the vinegar. If it's well enough for you, fair enough. You can add a brown sugar. Or if you need more sour, you can add vinegar. The vinegar acts as a preservative as well as the souring agent. And now you can add the fried prawns. Saute for another two three minutes, and then. Keep it in an airtight container. If you want to preserve it more, you can heat up the mustard oil to a smoky point, and then pour it on top of the jar. It will take out all the air from the top and cover it sealed. It gives a airtight seal pressure. So that's ready your prawn char or prawn pickle. So your prawn pickle is ready to eat.